Yep. Back to the Rainier. Just never gets any better than Rainier, folks. Let me tell you right now from experience. I've drank a lot of beer, and Rainier is always the best. Got strong competition. I'm not going to lie about that either. Past Blue Ribbon, Foster's, Coors, Bush, Kokanee. Kokanee's probably my third favorite. They don't make 24 ounce Kokanee cans. Like, what the hell, man? Make one. So, it's, I uh, hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, real safe for y'all. Uh, enjoyed, got a little bit fatter. You know, make sure you do that. <sighs> Seahawks not looking good. That's all I can tell you. Uh, it's been real stormy out. This whole week has just been pouring down rain here in Ravensdale. And uh, the flood's coming. Not for me, of course. I'm up in the mountains. But the flood's coming for the low people. The people that are, you know, built their house on a swamp. You know, you see those people all the time. Like, what the fuck are they doing? That's a swamp there. Why are they building a house in that? Like, oh, I'll be fine. All of a sudden, like, their house is, like, four feet underwater. Like, the swamp came back. You're like, yeah, no shit. It's a swamp. Been having fun on uh, playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! lately. Magical Musketeers and Trick Stars when I'm playing with. Uh, still got ABC, but, you know, I'm getting a little bored of ABC, but still a great deck. It got fourth or third place at YCS San Diego. Spiral took 17 of the top 32. Trickstar took, like, six, I want to say. Uh, there's some other deck, too. Trickstar. Pendulum Magicians took, like, seven. Maybe I got those backwards. And one ABC, one lone ABC, and the guy who got it, I've played multiple times at my locals. Some Chinese kid. He beat me for the OTS championship. I had a rare opportunity to go back-to-back -back OTS champion. I won the first time, and then he barely beat me game three in the finals. I'm never going to forget that. But good to him. Good for him. It's another... There were a lot of people from my locals on the stream. There was Destin. Uh, there was Daniel. Uh... Daniel won with Magic Musk Series, even though I had no idea what he was doing. I was watching that, and I was like, holy shit, this guy has no idea what he's doing. And there was a Dark Lord player and a Grand Mahu player. And uh, I don't know if the Dark Lord guy won or not, but hopefully he did. I, I, I didn't get to see the end of that. I tried to watch Destin's, but the stream collapsed. I couldn't watch the stream anymore. I kept trying, but it just kept failing, so I gave up. So hopefully Destin won. Uh, he's a pretty weird guy. But whatever. I got a sponsor here I'd like to tell you all about. Uh, it's a good one I think we're all going to enjoy. Give me $25 help with the packs, keep the lights on, do all that. You know, pay for a little bit of the beer, you know, they're not supposed to, but I don't care. Uh, it's Card Shop Candles. Yes. Folks, let me ask you. When you go into your card shop, your locals, what's the first thing you notice? Probably the smell. Yeah, the smell. I'm not saying that as a negative thing, but the scent of the card shop. You go in there, and I just, just breathe it in, and I know I'm home, almost, second home, third home, because I work in a factory that's basically home, but, you know, I guess it's my third or fourth home, whatever, it's going down the totem pole as I speak, but whatever, the point I'm trying to make here is that these card shop candles, you light it up, and it's inside your own house will smell just like the card shop. Now, they have three, three unique scents. Uh, the first set is Yu-Gi-Oh, which, of course, we all know and love if you're watching this video. Uh, they describe the smell as smug, angry, and obese, which, uh, that sounds pretty accurate of a lot of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh players. Smug, angry, and obese. And uh, the, the second is Magic, the Gathering, of course. Uh, it does not say modern or standard or commander, it just says magic, so I guess it's all of them. Uh, its scent is described as money, old, and obese. All right, so obese is in both of those two candles. All right, so what am I here for? Well, I didn't go to Walmart. I went to Fred Meyer's, picked up some stuff there. Got a uh, one pound Reese's peanut butter cup, which I'm really gonna enjoy. Uh, I also got a 12 ounce Hershey Kiss, which I'm also gonna really enjoy. But I went through, and they hadn't done this in a long time. I go past their card section. I used to know buy blister packs from them because I just Walmart seems to be the place to buy the blisters. But they have a box, like a cardboard box that sometimes they just throw random loose packs into. And for a while, they're throwing Yu-Gi-Oh packs in. I mean, really random, like unlimited Pharaoh serve and garbage like that. But now, 
I went back, they hadn't, oh, done, hadn't done that in like a year at least, and I went in there, and my God, they had Yu-Gi-Oh packs in there. They had 15 first edition packs of Shining Victories. This set's already like a year and a half old or something, isn't it? A year old. More than a year. There's really nothing good out of this set anymore value-wise. I want to get the Winter Cherries, Ghost Reaper Winter Cherries. That's about it. If I can pull, uh, you know, let's go with the Sage with Eyes of Blue, that'd be fucking sick. That'd be really good. Uh, but yeah, and also in there they had three packs of Maximum Crisis. Hopefully there's a, an Ash Blossom here. If there's an Ash Blossom in one of these, holy fuck, did I hit the jackpot? Jesus Christ. Let's also find out if these are scaled or not. I, I don't know. They might be, you know, just scaled packs. Uh, so I'm going to find out. It's 18 packs. It's less than a box. I don't usually open these few of packs. But I figured, you know... I'll do it. Do it for the you YouTubers or whatever we're supposed to call ourselves. I don't even know if I want to be a part of that organization. A lot of weird shit goes on in those other channels that I don't really agree with. Like, like you know, I guess right now I'm just going to let you know. Shots fired! Uh, House of Champs. I don't know his name. But he's like, what's good, YouTube? You know, he always has that high-pitched voice when he starts. And then, you know, he's all, like, telling you about what deck list topped and shit. And then it turns out he's, like, haven't topped a regional since, like, I was in high school, like, ten years ago. Guy has no idea how to play the game. He just reads off card names. I mean, what a career. Um, and there's other guys, too. There's some of them I kind of like. Like, I like Cyber Knight, and I like uh, Spot Ed. I, I, I just prefer Cyber Knight. Team Samurai X is interesting because I always watch his deck profiles, no matter what archetype he's using. He's always got, like, same cards in it, you know? It's just, like, that card doesn't even, like, Doom too much for this deck. Like, he puts, like, Pot of Desires in, like, everything. It's like, I, I don't know if you should put Pot of Desires in Crawlers. Hmm. I remember he was putting the Zoo Engine in every fucking deck, and people got pissed. I remember the Zodiac Predaplant. Man, people were furious, and he actually came out and apologized and everything. Now, he, now he's got, like, disclaimers on his videos after that, you know? Now he's like, oh, I know not all of you can afford hand traps. But let me tell you what, if you want to win, you want to play three Ash Blossom, three Ultimate Ghost Ogres, three Super Rare Droll and Lockbirds, and an Ultimate Max C. Yeah. Yeah, motherfucker, that's like $400. All right, guys, I'm getting off on a tangent there. By the way, that is my hand trap lineup. <laughs> I'm a rich bastard. Okay, so anyways, guys, I'm going to head over yonder. I'm going to open up these packs. Uh, stay dry. I hope you had something real good to eat. I hope you gained about 10 pounds for Thanksgiving. And uh, I think I gained about 15 I still look damn sexy. All right, guys. One thing to always make sure to do when you're opening up packs is to watch for your fingers. Sometimes I get really bad cuts from opening packs. I open up too viciously. But another thing you want to make sure to do to enjoy the experience more is get drunk. All right, let's get on here. I need beer already. All right, here, let's get in here. 15 packs of Shining Victories, the Blue Eyes set, and three packs of Maximum Crisis, the True Draco set. Again, hoping to get the hand traps, of course, that's all anyone plays anymore. About a quarter of your deck is now hand traps. Uh, so I'm going to get the Ghost Reaper out of this. Uh, here we go. See what I can get. Oh yeah, Luna Lights in here. See if these are scaled or not. Mausoleum of White, Luna Light Leo Dancer. Graceful Tear. This one, add one card from your hand to your opponent's and then gain 2,000 life points, huh? Gear gear change, Dynamist Eruption, forgot Dynamist is in this. Let's see if I can get a Secret or an Ultra. Remember Black Sheep combo with the damn Norden? That was ridiculous. Tiger, Digital Bug, Fire King Island, this saw a lot of play for a little while with Cosmo. Black Sheep, Morphage Greed, and Digital Bug, Rhinosibus. Uh, Dynamist Eruption again. Move those out a little bit. Digibug Cocoon Denser. I think I actually played against this once in the shop. Black Sheep, Angel Trumper is a short print, normal monster. This beautiful fairy-like flower generates a delusional uh, mist to keep intruders away from the deepest parts of the forest where sacred beasts dwell. It actually is a fairy. You can see it a little bit there. Pearl Odd-Eyes Light Phoenix and a, a, a Formage Goliath. Bug Matrix. 
Protector with Eyes of Blue, and Amorphage Wrath. Yep, you know what my son, I couldn't believe what I saw. I was randomly looking at Yu-Gi-Oh videos online, one of the recommended videos for me was the Rampage movie trailer. And I had no idea a Rampage movie was coming out, and I saw like the little like preview picture, and I said, oh my god, is that Ramp, like I could just tell it was the gorilla standing behind Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, I was like, dude, no way, is this the Rampage game? And sure enough, it is. You know, it's so bad. It, it looks so bad, but it looks so awesome. I'm so excited. Fuck Avengers 3. 2018 is supposed to be the biggest movie. Avengers 3. Fuck that. I'm going to go see Rampage. God damn. Digital Bug, Scar Dater, uh, Gendo, Bug Emergency, Luna Like Cat Dancer, and the White Stone of Ancients. They're not scaled, folks. I can actually get an ultra rare out here. God, these Amorphage monsters are terrifying. They're like Rampage. Like, there's a wolf. And a dragon? God damn. Ah. Fuck. Alright, there we go. Alright, so. The White Stone O oh, Ancients. Once per turn during the end phase of this card is the is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn. You can special summon one blue ice monster from your deck. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one blue ice monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. You can only use this effect of White Stone of Ancients once per turn. It's amazing how good the Blue Eyes deck was. Like, it was by far the best deck when this shit first came out. I liked it. I still think it's a cool deck. I'm always excited to have it played against me. Here's the Gear Gear Anchor. Never saw another Gear Gear deck again. Cuban Fortissimo. Master with Eyes of Blues. Rank up Magic Skip Force and Red Eyes Toon Dragon. Look at that guy. <laughs> Beacon O White. White Rabbit, Redice Cycle. Alright, moving on with more Shining Victories. I like the name of this set, Shining Victories. You know what's amazing about Rampage? I can actually remember the names. It was Lizzie the Iguana, George the Gorilla, and Ralph the Wolf. Master with Eyes of Blue, Despot Base, Bloom, Prima, the Melodious Choir, and Priestess with Eyes of Blue. Isn't she pretty? I love Priestess of Look at her hair. Look at that hair. My God, that's gorgeous. It's like, like fucking Raditz hair, even though I don't think Raditz is a beautiful saying. I'm just saying Raditz. <laughs> Down on my Spinos is really good for that archetype. I really like Spinos. Uh, I still think Rex is better, but damn. I played Dino Mist online like a week straight, and I won a lot of games with it just because it has some pretty silly effects. Remember, Dynamis like topped a regional or a YCS or something. Made I know it made day two at Nats. Uh, Scarredator, Purple Butterfly, Digital Bug Cocoon Denser, Fusion Tang, and Elector Pendulum, the Draco Overlord. This guy was a one of in the uh, ah, I did it again. The Pendulum uh, uh, Pepe, I think it was. Wasn't that it? Negate the effects of face of pendulum monsters while your opponent controls them. At the start of the damage of this card battles a pendulum monster, destroy that monster and this card. 1950 attack, the beefy monster for a level 4. It's like an evil swarm heliotrope. Except it's better as an effect, even though evil swarm heliotrope is better because it has infestation pack pandemic backing it up. Man, that pack opened up weird. Just a slaughter on that one. Cocoon Dancer, Pain Lanius, Forge of the True Dracos. Man, I can't, I forgot True Dracos is in this. Lunite Reincarnation, Speedroid, Den Den Ducko, and a Dragon Spirit of White. Yes, this is like my favorite Ultra in this set. Dragon Spirit of White, nice. And then a Bad Aim, Dwarf, Fire Flux. I almost did it again. All right, this is one of my favorite, this is probably my favorite card from this set. Uh... Well, I don't know. Crystal Wing and Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon are pretty cool. Uh, this card is always treated as a Blue Eyes card. This card is treated as a normal monster on the hand or graveyard. When this card is normal, especially when you can target one spell trap card, your opponent controls and banish it. During your player's turn, if your opponent controls a monster, you can tribute this card. Special summon one Blue Eyes White Dragon from your hand. That effect was very rarely used. But some people would, you know, avoid a target it, you know. I rarely ever saw that effect used, but I certainly saw the effect a lot where it would come out and just banish one of my set cards. It sucked. 
Master with Eyes of Blue. I like that it's a family. The Eyes of Blue is like a whole family. Like this is like the uncle or something. Fortissimo, Lunalite Tiger, Despot Base, Orphage Envy, and another Red Eyes Toon Dragon. Tears of Blood, Sentiment, Ryu Okami. Wonder XYZ. Immediately after this effect resolves, XYZ summon one XYZ monster using monsters you control as materials. You know what that's for, right? Is in the damage in, in battle phase, you can make an XYZ monster. It's pretty good, I think, but no one ever played it. It's past its prime now, I think, the Link monsters. Alright, Digital Bug Scurrider. Gendo. Bug Emergency. Preferable Odd Eyes Light Dragon. Or. Light Phoenix, <laughs> Amorphage Goliath, Luna Light White Rabbit, Redice Cycle, Dice Clops, which interestingly enough works in Dark Worlds, but it's awful. And this is Protector with Eyes of Blue. This is the uh, older brother of uh, Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Maiden is the, the, the daughter. That's the one. And her mom is that beautiful priestess with Eyes of Blue. She had her when she's 16, so she's still 29. <laughs> Cell Shell Crab Rise to Full Height. This card saw immense play with Omega. Flame Lord Omega. Bloom Prima, the Melodious Choir. Omaf Fractor, Pain, the Imagination Draco Overlord. My god, it's disgusting. Raid Raptor, Revenge Vulture, Ma Bug Matrix, and the Big Brother. Alright, got a few packs left of Shining Victories. Well, I got four. Four more. Alright. Oh, there's the first Cosmo card. Cosmorning. Man. Look at those titties. Oh, she's got hers covered up. I like that this is actually a Dark Lady without her mask on. Dark Lady's hella pretty. Look how messed up uh, Farm Girl is. Purple Butterfly, Fire King Island, Luna Light, Blue Cat, and Tuners High. Gonna get high with the Tuners. Bug Matrix. Down with Spinos again. Love this card. Looks so good. Wonder XYZ and Amorphage Wrath. Divine Wrath is a hell of a good card. It's a counter trap. Past its prime, of course. We have Psalm Strike and Psalm Warning now. Uh, Descott Base. Cell Shell Crab. Another Cosmo Warning. Purple Butterfly. Super Anti Kaiju War Machine Mecha Dog This is like by far the worst. This one sucks ass. And a hot. Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity. Dice Clops. Gear Get Change. This card is awful. I'm go ahead and read. My God, look at the text on that. Look how small the words are. That's when you know you got a lot of bullshit to read. Fuck. <sighs> Get some beer. This is a hideous monster, too. All right. Look at this. Look at its material requirements. Two tuners plus one non-tuner dark dragon type synchro monster. When this card is synchro summoned, you can activate this effect for the rest of this turn. Your opponent cannot activate cards. Also, cards your opponent controls cannot activate their effects. Your opponent cannot activate cards or uh, effects in response to this effects activation. Wow! It said effects so many times in a row right there. If this card destroys a monster by battle and inflict damage your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. If this card is in an owner's possession and is destroyed by an opponent's card by battle or card effect, you can target one level 8 or lower dark type dragon, synchro type monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Fuck, oh, that's a lot of words. A lot of words for a card that no one's ever played. Why do they make these things ultra rare? That's the thing I'm always like, why? You just wasted a spot. A Morphage Pride. Look at that disgusting animal. It's an eagle... Turning into a dragon, I think. Blackwing Decay, the oh my god, how many Blackwing cards are there? Mass with Eyes of Blue, Speedroid Pashingo Cart, and Cosmo Landwalker. This one was actually pretty good. You could use it to uh, redirect destruction. So you could target uh, Cosmo, a Cosmo's card you control would be destroyed by battle or opponent's card. You can destroy one other Cosmo card you control instead. So if you had a whole bunch of Cosmo monsters on the field and they chose. Brageki, you could if they had a if you had a face of Cosmo Town, you could destroy Cosmo Town instead. It was hella good. I really like Landwalker. Uh, Real Kami, Digital Bug, Perform Paul Fight, and Morphage Wrath. All right, last pack of Shining Victories. Here we go. Can I get a Ghost Reaper? Can I get a Secret Rare? I've gotten four Ultras. Pretty good. All right, Black Sheep, Infinite Cards or Infinite Cards actually. Pain Ladius, Rank of Magic, Skip Force, and Digital Bug, Rhinosibus. 
Gary Good Change, 09, uh, World Carrot Weight Champion Gross, Bad Aim. All right, here we go. Here we go. There's some good chances here. Not really, but let's get an Ash Blossom. Or at least a Dragonic Diagram. Let's go. Let's get in there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Darling Cobra. Venu, Bur Bright, Bird of Divinity, Phantasm, Spiral Assault, Predaplant, Orphanus, and Zephrath. Zodiac, Hammer Kong, Zealous, Jigglebug, Ladybug. <laughs> Alright. I'd like to get one Ultra out of these three. One high rarity card out of these three packs would be nice. Open! Open, damn you! There we go. Another Venu. Phantasm, Spiral Assault. Phantasm Spiral Grip, Raid Raptor Stranger Falcon, and Ignis Heat! I did get an Ultra. The True Draco Warrior, limited now. And Super Tough Terror Behemoth Speed Lucas, that one's terrible. Uh, Artifact Baru, what's this one do? Oh, you can just, it's like a heavy storm, destroy all. all uh... Huh, what am I only going to play? To tribute summon this card face up, you can tribute a continuous spell or trap card you control instead of a monster. Once per turn during either player's turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect while you control this tribute summon monster, you can take one true dragon or true king continuous spell card from your deck, either activate or add to your hand. Pretty good he's limited at one. Which is interesting to me because when they limited him, it seemed like most people were only playing one anyways. I guess they really wanted to make sure that deck was like really hurt because maybe they knew that if they just left him at three, but banned Dynamite Knight or whatever his name is, they would that people would bump him up to three and maybe it wouldn't have affected the deck too much. I don't know. All right, last pack. Can I get an Ash Blossom or a Secret Rare? I haven't gotten a Secret Rare. 18 packs. Come on, let's do it. Cobalt Sparrow. <laughs> These monsters look ridiculous. Breakaway. Double Resonator. Pacifist of Phantom, and oh, the Phantom Knight's a Cursed Javelin, which is actually really good. Uh, my buddy Rad Ryan uses this all the time in, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Paleozoic. It's really good, actually. Turns a monster's attack to zero. Uh, Dark Worm, which is actually really good, and Magician's Left Hand, and whatever this is, Malicious Magnet. So, guys, I actually got a pretty good haul there. Five Ultra Rares. I'm pleased to get them. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know I sure did making it. Uh, if you guys, uh, want to, if you guys liked it and you, you just really thought, man, this guy's awesome, uh, even though he barely knows how to do this, uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see this stuff immediately and what, and you just want to know, hit the subscribe button and then when you really need to know I've uploaded something, you want to see that quality content, go ahead and hit that bell icon, you know, for whom the bell tolls and you'll be alerted immediately that I have uploaded Something good, something, something, you know, that you can really sink your teeth into. So thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, hope you all had a happy and festive Thanksgiving. Uh, it's okay. You're fat. The world's not over. There's lots of fat people. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in a couple days. Peace.